Hi, making a video. I really don't feel like it. <laughs> yeah, I don't feel like it. Well, you could point out that I don't feel like it either. Alright, so it's uh, new, some new gimmick here. Huh? Well, I figure we could do that, you know, where you talk to your... Well, you know, you talk to me like you're... Well, you know, that thing you, you do. I really don't see the point because the woods is the same on that side as it is this side, and so how's it not going to look any different? But you'll get exercise because you have to switch the camera angle because I'm on this side and he's on that side. All right, well, whatever. I guess there's some value in just having the conversation that may or may not occur. <sighs> Did you point out that I feel like shit, too? I probably feel shittier than you do. <sighs> People really don't want to hear about that kind of crap. You know, they just want to hear something meaningful and profound and interesting and compelling. They want a story. They want a narrative. They want, uh, maybe even science. <laughs> well, you're just walking. How can you do all that and just walking? That's asking for a lot. I don't like people much. Yeah, I don't either. But you have to deal with them because people are what caused this whole thing to happen. I mean, now. You know, it's like in the past they weren't responsible, but they're responsible now. Because, you know, we kind of maintain the thing. Force it along. <laughs> Did you have trouble with that tree too? Yeah, I had a little trouble with that. Oh, God, I feel like crap. <laughs> Will you just quit complaining about how you feel? So what? You feel like crap. You know, whatever. Take a dump and lie down. I just don't know if that's going to do it, but maybe. Um, so anyway, uh, yeah, this whole profound thing. Yeah, people want, like, people think, like, finish. I got to finish my sentence. All right, so just let me talk. People like... Well, people need... No, they don't need it. They don't even like it. People are idiots. They, they want fucking stupid shit. They want somebody to, like, try to eat a tablespoon of fucking cinnamon. All right, we don't have to make, you know, whatever. Side remarks about the amazing atheist again. Yes, okay, it's silly, it's stupid. Um, but it's the internet, it's a juvenile audience for the most part, and apparently it's not getting any older. Uh, you, do you know you're walking on a stream bed? It's not a stream bed, it's a path. It's just been covered by a stream bed. Wow, quicksand. Um, no, I think it was quick mud, actually. Uh, cool. cool. Um, maybe you should put that in a bottle. Sell it or something. People would buy it because people are stupid. Alright, it's true, but that's for some other day conversation. Um, right now we're trying to be... We're trying to get to the, the substance of it. Uh, you know, how do you, how do you make uh, the conversation about what it is to be alive compelling. Oh, that was pretty good. Um, yeah, that's... Did you just get a pricker in your finger? Yes, I believe I did. Big, ugly, black one. Uh, ouch. There, I believe I've gotten it out. Oh, good. You're pretty talented. Uh, anyway. Um, yeah. So it's like, you know, without fireworks or car tr crashes or hot chicks... It's really hard to sell this, talk about the meaning of life thing. Yeah, I think everybody just has an opinion, you know. They just have where, whatever they slop together. And they just say, oh yeah, I'll just run with that. You know, I don't really need to be qualified, <laughs> you know, to, to live. Uh, you know, I can just get by. Um, and, uh, you know, I don't need a license or something. Yeah, it is kind of strange, isn't it, that that's the way it works. 
that something kind of important like living or reproducing, even having kids, just doesn't require any kind of standard of competence. You know, no, you know, they don't have to, they don't have to, the, 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 the test is just like non-existent. I mean, the test is, you know, the basic physical function. Pretty much. I got earache now. My eyes are funky. My fingers are numb. And my ear aches. <laughs> what disease do I have? Anyway. Uh, well, that's what you need to do. What's that? You need to maybe turn into a game show. Yeah. Like Jeopardy's sort of a game show, right? Except they just do trivia stuff. We need to like make it a game show about reality. Like who can spin the best story of reality? Yeah, something like that. You know. And movies, you know, nobody's really making no movies. About reality, that is. I mean, they make movies about fake realities and science fiction, but none of those are like, none of those deal with like the real reality. Yeah, you mean like the, the feudal DNA thing? Uh, <laughs> you know, what do you do with your life once you know it's a sham? Uh, yeah, really difficult. Um, I got a long way to go. I can't be talking about how futile it is. I need I need to get some power. I don't have any power. I'm really I'm just gonna pass out. Well, that'd be cool. You do it on video anyway. Yeah, I think you should have been. I mean, I think you're gonna pass out. I'm probably doing okay. I think you're the wimp in this story. So anyway, um, where are we? I think we're thinking about what we could do in terms of a, a more interesting way of presenting reality. Make people, you know, get them involved. You know, it's like politics fails, right? That doesn't, that really wasn't connected. You were talking while the other guy was. Oh, strange. Yeah, let's see, where were we? I'm dying? No, no, we weren't there. Uh, no, we were at... Uh, it really is a nice day. It really is a nice day. Oh, come on, Gary. You know, do it for the queen or something. Um... Where did that come from? You are one fucked up asshole. You've been doing that lately. You've been really weird. I have to admit, you're kind of giving me the creeps. <laughs> well, I'm rubber, you're glue, buddy. <laughs> I mean, come on. You could be talking about anybody creeping anybody out. You shouldn't talk. Fuck nut. So anyway, where were we? I was kind of posing it to you. You know, we really have to do some thinking on this human communication problem. How do we make communicating with the human animal fun for the human animal? Well, that's another good, you know, the way you pose that question was pretty good. You know, you know, it is kind of a, you know, when you think about it, you know, humans are really, really bad at this. It's like, how come humans are so bad at communicating with each other? Well, I think that's, you know, that whole God delusion problem again. You know, because they they basically became, you know, gang. And you, if you're not the color and you're not wearing the right badge, you don't believe in the right God. Too much tension. Can't have a conversation with you. You're the bad guys. So, maybe that's it. Well, it seems a reasonable theory, I have to concede. Uh, I mean, off the top of my head, I can't think of any, you know, huge problem with that idea. That that probably just has completely fucked-hearted, uh, you know, human beings' ability 
to communicate with each other honestly, uh, you know, in some sort of open way, because they're always offending each other's gods. Yeah, bingo. I mean, you can't, you know, a philosophy that doesn't have a god in it is hard to offend. You know, you can still do it. You know, a modern mystic is, you know, so I find it a little bit offensive, I have to concede. You know, this whole idea that you're going to say, well, because matter is made up of, you know, inanimate, un uh, unconscious crap, that somehow we're in unconscious. <laughs> well, you know, you really are. I mean, underneath. I mean, you know, like this skin here isn't conscious, and uh, the brain right behind that, it probably isn't conscious either. <sighs> yeah, we are sort of missing my point. Uh, the point is, we know we are, so it doesn't really, it's really not a debatable issue. I mean, we're conscious. <sighs> well, I, I thought the idea was to talk about uh, how to communicate reality. I didn't know we were going to like be theorizing on reality. Uh, but, you know, yeah, I sort of agree with you. Well, you do, but then you don't, because you were just devil advocating me or something. You know what they call it? <laughs> Will you quit being such a putz? <sighs> You're like some kind of colicky baby. Well, you know, you don't need to be hurtful. I mean, I have feelings. Fuck a tard. <laughs> yeah, well, you just call me a fuck tard and you say, you're gonna whine about your feelings. You really are an idiot. I think we're demonstrating why human communication fails. You see, because people get caught up in little spirals of, you know, offendedness. Their sensitivity, uh, you know, shields come out, and as soon as they pull the shield, they just say, well, I might as well stab the guy while I'm here. That kind of thing. Yeah, that's part of it for sure. So anyway, well, it's not just, you know, I don't think it's just that people can't communicate, don't know how to communicate. I think it's just uh, people don't want to live in reality. Well, uh, I concede the point. I don't want to live in reality, but I want to live in a fake reality on purpose. Uh, I don't want to pretend the fake reality is reality. I want to strictly just say, let's just entertain ourselves in some kind of benign way and, uh, you know, live in virtual reality. Yeah, I kind of know your philosophy already. You really don't need to go through it again. But, um... Yeah, well, isn't that problematic, though? Uh, well, that's not what I want to say. I want to say something about uh, other people living in the fake reality. Yeah, that's lame. Yeah, well, you gotta got to say more than, that's lame. <laughs> it's kind of lame just saying, that's lame. I mean, that's probably part of this problem of people not being able to communicate, is they just keep saying shitty, stupid stuff like, chill, dude. Lame, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Super lame, dude. Well, is that what you're saying I was doing? I was just saying that... Well, I don't remember what I was saying. But the point is... Is, yeah, people don't like reality. Because reality doesn't say something like... You're so fucking cool. <sighs> well, there. I think we got it again. Yeah, that's the real problem. Is people aren't logically scrutinizing theories of reality. They're scrutinizing them based on, well, how do, you know, where do I fit in? You know, how do I win in your theory of reality? What do you mean, I have to pay more taxes in your theory? No, fuck your theory. I have to be more responsible? Oh, fuck your theory if I have to be more responsible. I have to think and be competent? Oh, fuck that, I don't want to do that. Yeah, that's really the problem, right? They want a simple theory of reality because then they can cheat all over the place. And especially if they have one based on some, you know, cop god. <laughs> you know, top cop god. 
Uh, you know, because they know that cop's never going to show up. Yeah, well, that's all. That was pretty good. Yeah, I mean, that's kind of a good way to think about it, is that, uh, yeah, they choose that bullshit reality because it has absolutely no way to touch them. They can get away with murder, so to speak, and that cop will never show up. Yeah, kind of bogus, ain't it? And, and you know, and, the, and they cheat anyway. It's like even... Well, I, yeah, he just said that basically no one have to worry because there isn't any help. Exactly. So they invent a penalty they know won't happen, so then they can think... Um, what? Well, then they know they can cheat, that's all. It's a cheatable reality. <laughs> My hair in your mouth? Yeah, that happens to me too. <sighs> bogus. I mean, bogus is another one of those words, man. <laughs> man, <laughs> it's another one of those words too. Yeah, so you just hoisted your own petard again, didn't you? It's not hoisting your own petard, it's like getting hoisted on your own petard. <sighs> well, why do we speak in that shit language anyway? Why don't we just say get blowed up by your own bomb? I don't know. So this doesn't, it's not as musical. That's another problem, right? It's that whole poetry thing. It's got to sound good. You know, and saying stuff like, you suck. Yeah, they don't want to hear that. It's not musical enough. Well, I think it's pretty musical, actually. I could write a pretty good you suck song, I think. So I don't think that's the problem. Um, I think it's the poetry's okay. Oh, okay, you're probably right. I was just pulling that one out of my ass. So, oh, that was probably pretty bogus. Oops, I said bogus, did I? Yes, you did. Man, you are so fucking owned in this conversation. Now you're going to do this owned crap. It's P-owned anyway, right? Fucking goddamn bullshit. All these people. This is what they worry about. They worry about how you pronounce pwned and uh, shit like that. And like spelling. Oh, yeah, I don't even talk about the spelling loonies. Oh, fuck. Yeah, I mean... I mean, it's just impossible. You can't deal with these assholes. Uh, they don't know what fucking... They don't know what... They don't know what plans are even on. Well, technically, you don't either. How so? Well, you know, it's just an arbitrary name, Earth. Beyond its name, what the fuck do you know about it? I mean, it's just spinning around suns and shit, and somewhere in the middle of the, you know, whatever, Milky Way galaxy, just another arbitrary name, in some place in time and space. I'm just saying you don't kind of know shit about Earth. Well, I know I'm on it, fucker. And it's kind of mushy sometimes. And what else? Yeah, there's cats on it. Yeah, that's lots of stuff on it. Anyway, I think we've got to finish up here, get to work and such. All right, drop dead. Your choice. Well, I think I'll choose to uh, get to work. Anyway, so until the next time and such and so forth and whatnot. Yeah. Very nice.